Wow. We get closer. She's Batman. Okay. Oh. How long have you been doing this? Uh, about 45 minutes. Ooh. What's going on out there, YouTube oh land? You scared me. <laughs> Today we're with WWE superstar Zylee up on the main roster, feuding with Raquel, just throwing kicks all over the place, uh, really making a name for herself and, and moving up on the roster quickly. Um, very impressive. Uh, she's used to having body work, so we're gonna do some work on her today. Her lower back's a little tight. We're gonna do a little work on her ankles and knees as well. Um, she's gonna talk a little bit about her history in martial arts and talk about like what her time has been like being a superstar and uh, you know, tell a few other stories as well. And uh, she, like I said, she's used to the body work, so she's actually a little bit excited, right? Very excited, very excited. And I'm, I'm sure I'm- Professional. I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to inflict much on her because she's a top lady, so. <laughs> You always work with the fighter. Yeah. So if you get <laughs> Otherwise, she's going to kick me and punch me. So I have to be, be on my P's and Q's here. <laughs> All right, you ready to roll? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. So tell us where you where you were born and how long you've been in the Orlando area. I was born from Chongqing, China. And I came to America in 2017. Okay. Yeah, since now. And how has that been? It's been a, a very big difference in culture, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, when I first got here, I don't speak any English. And look at you now. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, so what's the weather like where you're from? Is it similar to Florida? Um, so the summer is hotter than Florida. Really? Yeah, still humid, but uh, we had a full season. Summertime, really, really hot. Like top four hot city. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you said you started training martial arts when you were about 10, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so tell me about that. What got you into it? Is that family? So, my sister started martial arts first. So, you know, kids always fight each other. Uh huh. So, when I go to school, I decided to learn martial arts too, so I can self defense <laughs> with <Okay>. my sister. <laughs> From but, your sister? Yeah, but okay. it doesn't work. Doesn't work. She's still stronger than me. Mm. <laughs> so, so she was older. Yeah, she's uh, four years older than me. And uh, uh, yeah, she won so many go over middle, silver middle. She's very professional. So I still couldn't fight with her. Okay. Um, but after school, she stopped. But I'm still going. Yeah. And later, I'm better than her. So you can beat her up now? Mm hmm. Okay. We had a last fight, so we'll never fight again. Okay. <laughs> because I get her like really bruised on the, on the jaw. Oh. So, by accident. By accident. By accident, yeah. Accident. As <laughs> so, never that fight was, again. That was revenge for all those days. <laughs> all those wedgies and swirlies and <laughs> wet willies. You know, gotta get payback on your sister, I feel like. No. Pulling your hair, gumming your hair. That's not true. That's not true. Not true, okay. Yeah, because I don't want to hurt my family. Gotcha. You know? Do you have um, a lot of brothers my and job, sisters? Yes, I have two sisters, one brother. Okay. So my job is protect my family. Okay. So I can't hurt my family. Okay. That's why. Got it. Yeah, because I'm too little, and then later I get older, I know everything. So, yeah, okay. I know that's wrong. So I didn't do that. <laughs> okay, you became wise. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, and what martial arts did you train at uh, at an early age? Uh, so, uh, Shaolin Temple. I don't know you hear from Mania. Mm -hmm. Shaolin Temple, you know, many Kung Fu movie, movie mm -hmm. from there. Uh, so that city like had a lot of history about martial arts. So I learned from there. I learned about them from Wu-Tang Clan. Where? Wu-Tang Clan. Wu-Tang? The 36 Chambers, Shaolin. Shaolin, oh, oh, okay. So Shaolin Tempo, it's like tempo, okay. but you need to shift your hair. Okay. I didn't do that. <laughs> because our you school- You kept your hair? <laughs> our school in the tempo. So okay. yeah, the biggest the school names are called Tago, Tago Martial Arts School. That's the biggest, uh, martial arts school in that city. Wow. And uh, very popular. I learned some like weapon style. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how to say in English, like Tao Lu. It's like uh, you show, you use the weapon, 
show everybody like like wooden sticks or like swords or yeah yeah sword staff staff okay yeah uh, we not like really fight each other okay so we just show the move I just show like all the move okay in two or three minutes show the power stress so it's performance so yeah. it's like a routine kind of yeah yeah yeah, 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 okay. yeah. yeah. So it's like athletic, you jump and flip and yes, and yes. Move, move choreographed fast and okay, yes. you got it. Um, and what are the most popular martial arts? Well, obviously Kung Fu is like the national um, martial art, correct? By the government? You mean in China? Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, depend, like if it, uh, the, the city, the school, mm -hmm. there, yes, that's the, Part of the culture, very popular because Solin. The most popular, right? Yeah, most popular. Uh, my city, not no. really. Okay. Because yeah. I think the UFC, either they have or they're planning on opening a, a center there. Yes. So later, the UFC went to China and get popular. And so your favorite UFC fighter is who? Weidi Zhang. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's tough. tough girl. She is tough. tough. She is so good. She is first Chinese in the US. Yeah, she's, UFC. she just had a spinning back fist knockout. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ever so So she'll probably be the champion again after this next fight. No just no disrespect to Carlos Barza, but I Whaley's really tough. Yeah. She's good with everything. Take down, the uh, uh striking striking or grappling Knees. and uh, and uh, cardio. Yeah. She's, she she's, trains so hard. She's tough. The only girl that can give her problems is uh Rose. Rose. And I think she just, you know, not focus. Yeah. So we'll see if they have a trilogy fight. That that division is interesting because, you know, one person like Carla beats Rose, and then Rose beats Whaley, and then yeah, Whaley beats Joanna, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Joanna Circle. beats Carla. Circle. So it's, you know, they stay styles make fights. So each style kind of beats the other style in a way. It's like yeah. rock, rock paper scissors or something. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that way too. So that's kind of interesting how the, the belt keeps moving around. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but if you want to support the channel, we've got custom shirts over here. So if you want to pick one of these up to support us, get some dad jokes on some of them, check it out right there. You can go to bunkerbranding.com slash Dr. Bo Hightower, and I stuck the description in the link below. So we'd appreciate it. You don't have to, but if you want to grab a shirt, that's where you can get one. So when did you start learning about um, professional wrestling? When I came to America in 2017. After you were recruited? Yeah, I started with uh, my company. Okay. I have so no you, idea before. So you didn't grow up watching? I watched a little bit, but I don't understand. Okay. You know, when you first started fighting, mm -hmm. and you, you kind of weird, oh, why they are doing this. Uh -huh. And later you find out, oh, perform. Because my favorite wrestler is uh, The Rock. Okay. As an actor or as a wrestler? Actor first. Okay. So you saw him in movies first. Yeah. Then I Google him. What he doing? Then he professional wrestler. Yeah. Superstar. 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 The wrestler's back. <laughs> I just you, you, did you get the memo? Yeah. Yeah. yeah wrestler's yeah. back. Wrestling is, is a it's a term we use again. Have you really enjoyed uh, meeting your fans and? Yes. Uh, I'm really happy back to life to see all the fans. Performance is easy for me, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, yeah, but travel is hard because mm -hmm. my language mm -hmm. when I first started. But now, now I used to do it, so it feels better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not hard. And then, I like travel around and see more people, see different city, the culture, anything. There's a lot of different cultures in the United States. Yes. A lot of different. Totally different. You know, you could be in Wyoming and it's very different than New York or Florida. Very different yeah, people, yeah, yeah. very different uh, food. and Yes, yes. Is yes, China yes. like that too? It's obviously a large country. Is there different regions that are very different like that? or is? Yeah. Yeah. They all have a different cultures. Different too. foods. Different and food. Yeah. Music. But I like and... try all the different things. Ooh! That right shoulder is tight. Yes. Let's see this. Maybe lay on your back. All right, put this hand by your side right here. You're gonna reach down that way with it. So reach for your hand towards your foot and then shrug and then reach. So tell me about this tattoo on your right arm. Okay, you know, um, the person always happy, you know, energy, always. Uh, but sometimes something happened, I have a different side. 
So that remind me. To be happy? Yeah. Okay. So don't, don't beat people up. <laughs> no, not because of that. Okay. I have a different side, just, just by when, when I'm alone. What side is that? That's nice, happy, mean? No, like sad. 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 Okay. So you get sad sometimes when you're by yourself? Uh, you know, something in front of life, something's happened, like a uh, missed family, yeah, missed home. A big culture shock. You just, you came here by yourself? Yes. You didn't bring anyone with you? No. Yeah. So that's, you know, very, very different being away from friends and family and yeah. I'm, I'm impressed you've, you've been here for so long, didn't go back. You know, when I was young, I, I moved to another, only one state away and I ended up going back home because I was too big of a baby. I didn't know how to make friends. And uh, yeah, I would get sad like that too. It's impressive that you, you're still here, you're still fighting. Obviously you have a lot of friends now. Yes. You know. Yeah, now I can speak better. Uh -huh. So I can make friends or more understanding what they think. Mm -hmm. So I feel better. So you're gonna ever do some bodybuilding shows? I see you working out with a bodybuilder. No, uh, she's my friend. We just work out together. She compete. I used to compete while in China. Okay, so you've done it before. Couple of times, yeah. Okay. Yeah, now just keep healthy. So what haven't you competed in? You've done fitness, you've done martial arts. Crossfit. Crossfit? Yeah, Pro wrestling? You competed in CrossFit? Crossfit too, yeah. Wow. Uh, yes, I did a lot of things. You're an I've been but be personal training in like 12, 13 years. Wow. Yeah. We can tell. These pythons. Yeah, CrossFit China. There you go. <laughs> CrossFit China. Right there feels kind of tight. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, you've been having some, some matches with some of the large women lately. We just saw your match with Raquel the other night. What's that like when you're going against people that are so much bigger than you? Um, you know, just... I'm professional. You no, know, we just want to bring best the show for the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, if you impersonal, um, I'm not free to fight people bigger or taller than me because mm -hmm. when I was like 17, 18, my career, mm -hmm. so I've been fighting with the bad guy on the street. Okay. So I'm not scared of that. Yeah, like... Uh, Size doesn't matter? Size doesn't matter. You don't think so? Yeah. Size doesn't matter? Or does matter? No, it, because like, like example, something happened on the street. So example, I saw a guy, like six tall, mm -hmm. in a woman's uh, bathroom, mm -hmm. take photo for, for the room, understand? Hmm. Creepy. Creepy guy. So... Guys don't be creeps. <laughs> I, I find out. And and I yell him why you do this. Uh, that was winter time. I would have a you know big outfit, so I couldn't see my muscle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I'm look small, so he think he can scare me. Mm -hmm. So I I try to stop him. So at first he pushed me. Mm. It's not your business. I say bad idea. Yep. Yeah. So oh you, you want to fight? What are you gonna do with me? I was okay. Bam! Just one punch. One hit, you hit him? Hit him. One hit or quitter? He pushed me first. Okay. So that's why I punched him back. Then he tried to fight with me. And then what first. happened after you punched him? So at first he fight back. Uh -huh. But later he started bullying me. Oh no. Then he start, stop. He started begging me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a heart problem. I had a you know healthy issue. Um, I won't do this again. Please forgive me. Something like that. I say. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm gonna call the police. Yeah. So I'm um, yell, another people walk by to call the police. Mm -hmm. So later the police come and catch him. To was, the, that, was that here? No, in no, China. In China, okay. Wow, just punching dudes. That's why I said I don't wanna mess with you. I don't want you to get mad at me. No, I don't wanna I'm get not, punched. I'm not always, you know, fighting. I can't fight. <laughs> I'm pacifist. <laughs> Only if you do bad things. <laughs> like push on your muscles? No, no. Don't, pu don't punch woman. Don't punch woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Life hack, guys. And don't take weird pictures. Yeah.
So who are some of the people that you've really enjoyed working with in, in WWE? Is there some people that you um, feel like you have good camaraderie that you put on better matches with? Is there somebody that you like working with more than? Oh, uh, Brock Howe is a good, good example because yeah. I al always work work hard. And though we are like almost same time get higher. Okay. So we work a lot. So you guys together. have a lot of experience together? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. She's always flexing her back. Huh? She's always doing this. Oh. <laughs> with, her back, with her back muscles? Yeah, she's, yeah, she's Very strong. good right now, yeah. Very strong. She looks perfect right now. And so, you know, your style in the ring, is that something you've kind of worked on over time or was that style sort of given to you? Like your outfits and your kicking style and all that kind of stuff? Oh, um, that's... That's my own idea. That's that's based on your martial my arts thing. experience. Yes, and... yes. Oh, Alfie style. I wanna put some culture stuff over there. Kind of represent for yeah for your homeland. Yeah, like Street Fighter. You know. Have you heard from people back home that they watch you or that you're inspiring, like kids back home to to want to get into this? Is that something you've heard? Yeah, yeah. a lot. They that's... ask me, text me online, the social media, and ask me, oh, I wanna join this. How can I do this That's super or cool. anything like this? Oh, you do a very good job over there. Wish you good luck. Something like that. Wow, Inspire that's, them. That's really cool. I'm going to have you squeeze your legs together pretty hard. Good. Feel that pop? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Where'd you feel it? That's here. In the, in the hips? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go right here. Chinese food in America, is that not authentic? Chinese food? Like when you get Chinese food in the United States. I've been told by people that's not really what people eat in China. Mm, it depends what, what, which restaurant. Okay. Yeah, I find some really like hometown food in Orlando. I okay. always go. Okay, so it reminds you of food that they actually have? Yeah, where I from. go over there, yes. Because a lot of people, same with Italian food, like people that are from Italy, they'll say, oh, the type of Italian food in the U.S. is not really... Some restaurant change, but yeah. it depends on owner. Okay. Yeah, so... Because I've, I've heard that about, like, Chinese food. They're like, yeah, it's not really... That's yeah, Americanized. Most, yes, most of the restaurant, they change the taste. To make it fatter to, and... <laughs> to, to have, yeah, so American can eat. More fried, more... Yeah, or sweet or something. Or sweet. Okay, that's what I thought. But some restaurants still keep the traditional things. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite food from back home? Back home, hapa. Okay. Spicy hapa. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Yeah, spicy. Every so, my nickname is Spicy Girl. I love spicy. And uh, in uh, back my set, my city, so they call us spiciest city. Hot city because from the weather, mm -hmm. from the girl, mm -hmm. from the food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes sense. And and so yeah, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of like hot peppers, you mean, and, and things like that. Or is, yeah, that's one thing people don't realize is like uh, you know, obviously in the in the U.S. and Southwest we have chili peppers and things like that, but like the hottest peppers come from Southeast Asia. Not just spice, the taste. Also, the taste different. If only spicy, you just feel, you know, all the spice, a lot of stuff. Uh, like citron pepper, make your tongue norm. <laughs> because the weather over there is milky. Okay. Yeah, so we need to eat that so to get that out. Okay. Body. So that's why it's spicy. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. So what were some things that were hard to adapt to in the United States? Is there something that we do so differently over here that like took you a while to get used to? Culturally? Culturally? Hmm. Is there something we do that's like rude where you're from or uh, I'm sure there is. There has to be. Yeah, the s speak way. How they speak. The way. So for me, uh, if I want to say something, I'm just like straight. So here, like, oh, um, go this way. Mm. But at work, so uh, Chinese people will go like this way to get the point for the work. Okay. But here, work straight. Just tell me what you want, how to get it, like very straight. But like friendship, anything, 
uh, Chinese people go straight, oh, what do you want? Uh, what do you want to do? Burst street. But here, they go like this, 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 this. Okay. So, like, opposite. So like your friends won't be brutally honest with you is, is what? You're yeah. like, what do you think about these clothes? And they'll be like, oh, it looks great, even yeah. though it doesn't or something like that. Yeah. And then it worked like, you have to do this, you have to be here by this time. Yes. So those yeah. are kind of reversed. Yes, reverse. Reverse. Okay. What else? What else is... Uh, and a lot of people don't like to try new things. Here? Yeah. They're very set in their ways? Yeah. Okay. So the food, like the food, they only eat the food they know or what they they eat before. Okay. Well, I like to try, try new things. things. Yeah. Do you like Mexican food? I like, yeah, spicy. Okay. Because <laughs> What's your favorite kind of Mexican food? Taco. Tacos. Yeah. Do, do you do hard show or soft show? Macuari. Macuari? Ma Macuari. <laughs> the mm -hmm. avocado. Dip. Oh, uh, guacamole. Guacamole, I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> yeah, guacamole. guacamole. Right there, Stay. Oh, my my leg, both legs really tight. Really, really tight. Got too much power on these legs. Yeah. All them squats. Yeah, a lot. Heavy. Heavy. Because my leg day almost two hour. Two hours. Then then thirty minutes or one hour cardio after that. Wow. So you're hungry after that. Yeah. Yeah. You do cardio every day. Cardio. Yeah. Yes. Every, every day? day. Yes. An hour. So um, Monday to Wednesday I do <laughs> twice a day. Wait, what? Twice, twice a day. Uh, Thursday. That's why Friday. she has abs like this. Yeah. That's why she looks more. Oof. You can dry on those. You can wash the uh, clothes on those, you know? And dry them off, you know? My friend, yes. Washboard abs. My friend, the, the one the copy, yes. Yeah. So my another friend said she had 10 packs. 10 packs? <laughs> like, from <laughs> here to here. 20 pack. That's funny. Let's uh, flip over on your stomach. Yeah, I just didn't like that yesterday. No. I feel sore? Yes. Let's raise this leg as high as you can. Okay, and switch it back to the left side. That's a little harder. No. No? Do the right again? And this we'll, is harder. It feels pain? Yeah, you do this this side pain. So when you get body work, they usually work on that area? And it helps? Yes, lower body, yes. Okay. Your favorite lift? Because bump, take bump. And okay. So my back start hurt, and then I still work out. Okay. That's why. Flipping and what's the hardest bump you've ever taken? Oh my rock, rock house finish. <laughs> the Chingona bomb? Excuse me, the Tejano bomb? Why can You know that one. How long have you been doing this? Uh, about 45 minutes. <laughs> Your career. <laughs> uh, 13 years. Wow. Yeah. How old are you? 38, 9. You study eight years old? <laughs> what? Are oh, you trying to joke with me? 39? See, that's how, I, you know, I always take it serious. Uh -huh. But they try to uh, joke with me. Like, what? Are you no? Sure? 39? I was 26, yeah. 25 when I started practice. Oh, one, three. Yeah. I thought three, zero. No, 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 one, three. <laughs> What are you starting eight years old? They do sound the same. Oh, I'm sorry. One I three, always, yes, correct. I always mistake this one. They sound the same, but it's totally reasonable. No, one three. <laughs> Not three zero. I don't want to be three So that's zero. why I said, oh, you tried to joke with me? Oh, no, I'll, 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 I'll retire before three zero. I won't ever see three zero. <laughs> Two zero, I'll probably hang up my hammer. Hang up your hammer? Probably hang it up. Right off into the sunset. <laughs> I live on a beach somewhere. And then I'll just make dad jokes all the time about life being a beach and, you know, came upon it wave by wave and... That's a good plan, you know? I don't know if you're in a thumb step, but these thumbs aren't going to hold up forever. So there's only so much thumb to go around, you know? 20 years or so. 20, 20... But you, you use the hammer, so you... Yeah, I use that too. But you got to prep the tissue. Got to yeah. use the thumbs. Yeah. The thumb, like, go, go deep. Yeah, the thumbs of destiny. Mm -hmm. Thumbs of destiny! Okay, you can really sing. <laughs> you should do that. Don't encourage you. Don't encourage you. <laughs> Any, like, sing a song in this? Yeah, he's singing a song. Always, 
He's okay. a great singer. Sing a song. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> she said that. She's making fun of me. Okay, now you can't sing a song. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> uh, which one is uh, the most uh, you can sing best? Uh, La Chona. La Chona. <laughs> y La Chona se mueve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so English is your language, right? Yes. Does it not sound like I'm speaking English? <laughs> oh no. I can't even speak my only language well. You, some people can speak Spanish. Oh yeah, I speak some Spanish. Ah. Not as well as my wife, but I can get by. So, you from? I was born in Brazil. Um, ah, my, I'm Panamanian that's and Brazilian. That's why you're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Yeah, always beautiful girl. See, I'm not from Good Brazil. Looking. That's why I'm not beautiful. <laughs> Just regular old. American. Oh. My Spanish got better and then ironically going back to Albuquerque, New Mexico, I don't use it as much anymore. So because I didn't grow up speaking it like fluently, mm -hmm. whereas my wife's fully bi lingual. But you and your wife speak English more better than me. English. No, I mean when you were with her. Yes. Yeah. English or Spanish? English. English. Oh okay. Because I get shy speaking Spanish around her. Because <laughs> she's so much better She'll, than me. She will laugh at you. Yeah. <laughs> She laughs at me. It's true. <laughs> Makes me feel very insecure about my Spanish. I do not. You know I love when you speak so much. <laughs> yeah, she thinks you are cute. I think it's so Spanish. cute. Yeah. I love it. Oh. The <laughs> and then she speaks uh, Italian too. Well, some. Probably not as much as used to. Yeah, I lived in Italy for four years. So I learned fluent Italian, but you know, with any language, you have to practice it or yes. else you lose it. Mm. Yes. So, haven't been practicing. Well, then you speak English, you speak... Mandarin. Those two? Yeah. Cantonese too? No, Cantonese, no. no. Any other? No. no. They have the same, um, same like letters and things, right? Like the shape Different. of the... Different. Like the same alphabet? Yeah, the same alphabet. Different. Different. Oh, okay, that would be hard. Because like Cyrillic languages are hard, you know. All the Latin languages, we, we use all the same letters, so. Uh, yeah, because of the sounds, those are different. Spanish and like Portuguese are like very similar. Yeah. And Italian. Yeah. So like my hometown language close to the Mandarin, but still some different sounds different. Sure. Yeah. So if you go to like uh, Louisiana, it might be mm -hmm. a little more difficult to under understand, or yeah, maybe Long Island or Boston. They have very yeah. very unique. Or Canadians. <sighs> well, English is really very different, especially. Other Commonwealth countries like uh, like like English like English people mm -hmm. and Scottish people and Irish people and yeah. Welsh people and yes. South African and Australian people find English I couldn't understand couldn't understand English, English <laughs> even though we're speaking their language yeah. <laughs> but we're just so used to being our version that you know yeah it's a little hard to understand and then there's different dialects obviously there too yeah I was a please can you speak slowly. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Ma lento, por favor. <laughs> right there. Feel that knot? That's, that's what they call a knotty muscle. Knotty muscle. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. Have you had a show in China? Yes, they have a SmackDown. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, they went to China a couple of times. Did your family come? Yes. Was that pretty cool? Oh, the big time, big yeah. moment for my career. The hero returning home. So, after my match, I was celebrate on in the ring, top wow. of the ring. So I try to find 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 my family and my friend. Why? Finally, find them. Uh, they're all crying. Oh. Yeah, they were crying. Oh, they make me cry. That's awesome. You made your family proud like that. Yeah. That's really cool. That's. I think when you grow up, that's all you really want is to like make your family proud. And yes. That's. So you did it. Yes. You're already winner in life, no matter what. Well, first uh, I uh, started fighting. Mm -hmm. My fat parents. They didn't want to, to do that. Okay. But I'm your sister still... was. Or you mean fighting, fighting, fighting. Not, not just martial arts? Yeah, okay. fighting. Because uh, 
uh, martial arts didn't hurt people, you know. Sure. Because, so, You're just scoring points. Yeah. And uh, but fighting, yes. My family were about uh, getting injured or anything. Mm. So they said it's not for a girl to do the job. Mm. So they think it's, uh, I should do nurse, teacher, <laughs> everything, like normal girls doing. Uh, but I'm totally different way. So at first, they, they not agree with me. Mm. Uh, until I invited them to watch my first uh, competition. Mm. So I, and I won. Okay. So they so they changed their mind when you won. Yeah, they changed their mind, and also you know, sometimes some bad things happen. I try to protect my family. Okay with that. So like, for example, my mom had a bad boyfriend. Mm -hmm. He he. Um, he hit her. Her yeah, her her. So. I and you guess. and then you beat him up. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Good for you. Glad somebody's out. You're like Batman. You're out here just stealing out justice. You know, take taking out the trash. I, I don't know because maybe because the martial arts culture. Uh huh. When you have power, you should help when, people. Right. Yeah. So that makes sense. and also like when I had a problem, I wish somebody can help me. Mm. So you gotta pay it forward. First, nobody helped me. Mm -hmm. So when I have power, I thought about the situation. I think I have power to help people. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. You gonna beat up dudes, <laughs> bad dudes. Yeah, many times, you know, some guy tried to steal some some people wallet uh -huh. on, the, on the bus. Uh -huh. Yeah, I will stop them. <laughs> She's Batman. <laughs> You're Spider Man. You're a so, real life superhero. <laughs> Ooh. Get closer. Okay, raise this leg again. Good. Oh, Good. much better. Good. And the left side. That one's much, much better on that one. Got a little more room for improvement here. What's this tattoo about? I did this. Uh, I like a uh, scuba diving. Okay. Yeah. Uh, before I was short here, so I tried to make a sea over here. Okay. More fish around, but I only did that. So you're gonna get that eventually? I wanna do more stuff, but I didn't find a good Ar person artist. to do it. Yeah, artist to do okay. that. Okay. That's cool. You know about Scuba Steve? Scuba Steve? Scuba Steve. What's that? He's uh, my favorite scuba diver. Oh, name? Okay. Don't, yeah. I don't know. You should look him up. He's the best. Oh, okay. Raise his leg again. Ooh! Get loose. His kicks are gonna be even harder now. Kick? Yeah. Yeah. Now that your hips turn more. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I need that. One you more time. Kick my kick. Nice. Ooh. Okay, now I can reach your head. Yeah, now. <laughs> now she's gonna kick me in the head. Or I know that if you taller than me. Yeah, she's six. Cool. Yeah. One more time. That's a. Yeah. That's much. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. There we go. I wish you you are in Orlando <laughs> forever. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> we, we might come eventually. Yeah. Here. She wants to move here. Good weather. Yeah. You know. And uh, tax pay less. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> good place. All right. We're gonna cross your arms like this. Bring you over here. Oh, I feel tight. Lower. Back. There, big deep breath. Mm -hmm. And blow it out. <sighs> Good. <laughs> Alright, roll on your side facing towards me here. Go there, scoot up to the edge towards me. Get a little bit closer. Go there. So it goes like that. And big deep breath out. Go. And then the other way. So how long do you think you're gonna wrestle for? Forever? For as long as you can? Yes. Yeah. I love that right now. It's my favorite now. Oh, good crack. Yeah, I tried to, my, tried to, you know, work my body.
keep healthy and I can work longer. You can tell when you're working your body with them guns. Thank you, you helped me, you know, fix my body. Gotta keep you rolling. You and all your other therapists out there. It's important for you know athletes to take care of their body. It, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to find a good person to do it. Yeah. Yeah, when I watch your uh, social media, I'm so, okay, this is, I know this is very professional. That's the one you wanna go to? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go right here. We're gonna adjust your lower neck, so. Ooh. Very good. This one's right. Raise your right arm up. Ooh. Let's do one more here. Might not need to go. Ooh. Is that a fine bit? <laughs> Am I still here? <laughs> What'd she say? She said, Am I still here? Am I still here? <laughs> yeah, you're still here. My lower back feels so good now. Oh, the good. Yeah, loose. So usually this side really tight. I feel my leg one is shorter, one is mm -hmm. longer. Now I feel like more even. Feels more flat. More even. Okay. So I'll put that too. All right. So we're gonna <coughs> do a decompression adjustment on mm -hmm. here. So big deal is coming out. My wife's gonna hold you down. So bite down for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, Brad. <laughs> I never feel that way before. Yeah, I feel the chest bone, yeah, open it, like stretch. You about to stretch all the way in the middle? Yeah, the chest, Good. chest bone. Those abs are tight. No. Okay, we'll try to relax. No pain, no pain. You got this. It'll get easier. About 15, 20 seconds, you'll feel a fade. Okay. Yeah, I feel. There we go. Better? Yeah, much better. Not as bad on this side. Mm hmm. It's definitely tighter on the other. Makes yeah. sense. Okay, let's face that way again. What I'm gonna have you do is bring this knee to your chest. So you're gonna come up and then down. Both? Just oh, this just one. one. This one goes straight and then knee up and down. Is that my stomach? <laughs> Somebody hungry. I think it's me. <laughs> That's your stomach? I think so. It is on food. <laughs> I haven't eaten today. Oh, oh, oh. It sounded like a song. It sounded like a song. The reggaeton song. There we go. Okay, switch sides. Knee up and down. Stand up, take a few steps, shake that out, see so how that feels. Oh, I feel alive. Feel alive? Yeah, feels good. Now it's you? very easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this help a lot because I have a problem. Yeah, it gets stuck. Yeah. 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 Mine too. Nice. That's a good one. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. Okay. Feels good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, so I'm gonna hook right there. Good, and back to me. <sighs> and away again. Right. <laughs> <Too long. laughs> good, one more time. Excellent. 
I'll come over here, go right this time. <laughs> yeah. I feel So this arm's gonna go way. in and out like that. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna get inside right there. Oh. Keep moving that arm. Yes, yeah, so you get a right point. That's where the punches come from. <laughs> right inside there. So that's where I get punched. Not this one. Bedding. Yeah, better. Yeah. 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 Same thing here. Good. <laughs> Ooh. Good. <laughs> Both hands here. This and then tuck your chin down a little bit. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, very good. Okay, good. Just a little more adult twins. For all you therapists watching out there, don't don't look at the adult twins. We get so caught up in rotator and all these muscles that come in, but. I find a lot of folks don't get enough like soft tissue work done on their actual shoulder muscles. We go in here on the teres and the biceps and everywhere else, but we forget what the main mover of the shoulder is the actual deltoids. And you know, people lift a lot of weights and work out a lot, their deltoids get tight. So that's the good point. Usually they do my massage, I say on my shoulder, but they only do here, mm -hmm. to here mm -hmm. at this point. So they do the traps and yeah, yeah. all that. Then like, here. Uh -huh. That's why I know professional. <laughs> but a lot of times, like right in here, you can feel that it needs work. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, it just is, it's too basic almost. Like well, the more you learn, the more you forget about just the basics. Yeah. And so we just kind of start neglecting the, the big muscles, you know. But if your shoulder is giving you problems, let's work on the delta a little bit. Mm hmm. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video that you're watching, but if you're interested in pursuing this kind of work as a career, you too can become a doctor of neuropathy. Go to sunm.edu. I put the link in the description below. You can check it out. Yes, Your scars. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad for all those years of combat. I only have two. No more. Four or five. Two surgeries, I meant. Oh. Yeah, they got to anchor that thing in so it doesn't slide out. It now is good. It's it better had a surgery. Yeah. They asked me. No, I don't need to do a surgery, but I said I, I need it. Mm -hmm. Because I do crossfit, anything, I don't want to always worry about it's this side, then my out. body started to change. I said it's better. So no training, recovery, and we're back again. Mm -hmm. So I'm now I'm normal. Nothing changed. There you go. Awesome. So you had a good surgeon, good physical therapist. Yeah. And build the muscle to protect. Yep, that's the key. Having a muscle to protect the joints. Mm -hmm. Not as tight. Okay, cool. So that was. Let's see. Very good. Good. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah. Put your hand like this. Oh, yeah, you didn't work on that. Did you work on that angle? That angle. No. Just like no power for one point. I don't know. Uh, it's mm -hmm. been going on? Yeah, it's a couple of days. Okay, I'll work on that too. Hand on your hip. Pull the elbow back. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same thing here. Good. Pull. Got me on that one too. Should move around the ankle. You're kind of on the top of the side. He's here. Around. Yeah, the same side. Did you get kicked here or something? No. Maybe. No, we went to beach garden. Uh huh. So walk all day. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Long walk. 
Then later, my, my knee and my ankle started pain. You're like, I flip, I kick, I lift weights, uh, but walking. Yeah, also, also my, I, I had like flat feet. Okay. I think that's why. And probably didn't wear the right shoes to walking. Do you have like a lift or a orthotics you ever wear? Or? Uh, um, it depends. If I'm running, I wear running shoes. Lifting, wear lifting shoes. So you just have a lot of shoe, different shoes for different yeah. situations. Yeah, yeah, that's very important. I yeah, know. I agree. All right, point your toes down, and then raise it up, Oof. and then down again. This is where she finally starts sweating. Yeah. And then back up, Oof. and down. Good. Back up, and down. Keep doing that motion. Good. A few more. Pass my shoulder and then lean back all the way. You're gonna straighten the knee and try to stretch the ankle. So go a little further back. Really try to stretch that ankle. Good. So now come forward again. Good and back. Okay, and forward. The forward is good. You have good mobility there. There it was. That's what I think it needed. Feel that? Yeah. That's stretching. Yeah. Or I was kind of stuck feeling before. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like stuck. Same with this knee. This one is for something like over there. If the didn't walk the right way, then get it. Oh, yes. No power over there. I know that. See if that's any better. It's good. It's good. Feel better? Yeah. Good. Doesn't hurt. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not injury, we just need a couple of days to heal anyway. But you just need a, some stretch. Stretch, pull. pop it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know it's like not from the kick in, anything, uh -huh. that kind of injury, probably just like long walk stuck or the water not enough or something like that. Exactly. Dehydrate or something. See, she knows body work. She knows exactly how the body's supposed to work. Kind of like close, but not like a you professional. No, no, no. She knows, she knows. Uh. She knows the body, she knows nutrition, working out, you name it, fighting. She's gonna beat people up. So uh, I'm glad you're feeling better. So make sure you go follow her, Zaylee, with an X, right? Yeah. She's on Instagram. Zaylee, Zaylee. Zaylee with, with an X. Yeah, X I A. Yeah, X I A. That. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Oh, TikTok not really used that much, no. but still Zaylee. Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, go show her some love. Uh, she likes her. Show me your love. Yeah, positive feedback from the fans, and you know, tell her. Tell her, uh, you know, how much you appreciate her, you know, putting on shows for you guys. And thank you, you. Yeah. Help me a lot. Fix me today. Yep. Very professional. Wow. I appreciate Fight that. Fight her. I'll find him. <laughs> awesome. So go show her some love. Make sure you guys tune in. She's on the SmackDown. What days of the week are you on TV? What day? What day? Friday. Fridays. Friday. Friday night. Fox. Get your popcorn. Big Fox. She's on TV. Main roster. Kicking people's butt all day. Awesome. See you guys in the next one.